What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be checking out the Viair TLC Boost XL. It's going to be an air compressor that stores air in the tank up to two gallons. You can also use it to air up your tires on your vehicle, your motorhome, your RV, or even your bike. Let's check it out. Let's get right to it and turn on the compressor. Let's see how loud it is. Now it's going to turn on right away. It's going to fill this tank to up to 150 PSI and then it should shut off. So we'll use the air from that tank before it needs to kick back on again. So with it on there, already I'm impressed with how little noise it makes. You got the compressor that's mounted up here up top. It's got the rubber fittings that make sure it's not vibrating. I thought the tank would move around a little bit, maybe down here, but it's not. There's no metal noise at all, so I'm impressed with that. It's running, it's staying in place. Of course, it's going to be heavier than another compressor. The smaller ones can move around a little bit if they don't have those stops, but it's staying put. Right now, like I said, it's airing up this tank and it'll shut off once it does so, and then we'll try and air up the tire. One thing to note is to make sure your vehicle is turned on before you turn on your compressor. You don't want to drain your battery. Now the compressor is turned off. It seemed like it took about two-ish minutes to get that two gallon tank filled up, so that's not too bad. Now we're over here, my tire's at 40 PSI. I'm gonna drain it back down so we can air it back up. So we're holding the bleeder valve there, letting that air out safely. Let's get it down to 35 so I can go back up to 40 and see how long it takes. You see, it's airing up the tire now. You don't hear the compressor on because it's using the air from that tank first. Back up to 40. Now there's two different ways you can use the compressor. You can leave it plugged into the power source, even with the tank filled up. You can also unplug it and then use the air that's in that tank. So if you're gonna leave it plugged in, you're gonna have eight foot of power cable with 30 foot of the air hose. So you saw me air up the front tire. I don't have to move the compressor at all. I can walk back here to the back tire and even go further back to the bike tires without having to move the compressor at all. At the back of the vehicle here where our bike is, it's hanging from the stand so that I can check the tires. So right now it has the standard air hose that would work with a Schrader valve. This is going to be a Presta valve, so it does have different accessories it comes with so that you can inflate other things, so just beach balls, soccer balls, all those attachments. We need the Presta valve attachment, so this is going to go in the quick connector right here. Make sure you push down on it so it goes out into place, let go. Now that's locked in, we're going to unthread the top of our valve here. And we'll push down on this. And it should give us a reading on how much air is in the tire. So I can get around here, push down. So a little bit under 20. So I'm going to use that air to get to 25. Just be careful. Don't hold on too much and overinflate your bike tires. Not only is this good for inflating the tires on your bike and keeping a good check on where they are, it also will help you seat tubeless tires. So you need that blast of air to get them put in place. This is gonna be great for that too. Speaking of accessories, I just wanna show you all the ones you get with the compressor. Now we use the standard air hose at the Schrader connection. It's the Presta valve adapter. These are gonna be used for beach balls or rafts for the pool. You got this one, it's gonna be good for football or soccer balls. And then you even have the air gun here. So you use that, that way you can help clean up your garage. It'll blast air to help you clean. You also got a bag that comes with it to hold all the accessories together, which I like that. You saw how they're all kind of spread out and be awful to lose one so you can't find when you need it. So it all stores in a zipped up bag. You can even fit the air gauge in there as well. That way it's all together when you need it. Now I talked about there's two different ways you can use the compressor. We've unplugged it from the vehicle. That quick connect makes it really easy. I don't have to detach anything with tools. So I brought it outside. It's all the way aired up. It's got that two gallons of air there in the tank. So we're gonna use it on the spare tire on the trailer. I took out about 20 PSIs. So instead of being at 40, it's at 20 now. We're gonna see how long it takes to get it all the way back up to 40. So we're gonna screw it on the attachment. Go. So it looks like it took about 34 seconds to go from 20 to 40 PSI in the trailer tire here, and there was still more air in the tank to use. 
Now that we went over some features and showed you what it can do, let's go over the process of how it works. So, got it set up right here. First thing we're gonna do is go to the battery on your vehicle. You're gonna attach those eyelets so you can use the quick connector, which you only have to do that one time, hooking them up, which is nice because then it's really easy to plug or unplug it whenever you need it. On this vehicle, the battery is gonna be underneath the passenger seat, but we're gonna use the jump post to attach, and you can still do that, so that way I can keep the cord contained in here, and it'll be out of the way, and I have to get inside the vehicle. So what you wanna do is attach your positive, and then your negative. If you look at the positive, there is an inline fuse here, so that's gonna help keep any damage right here to the fuse and not go anywhere else. So, if there was a back for you. Now, what we're gonna do is attach our positive first on that terminal, and then replace the nut. Screw that in place. I'll come back with the wrench and tighten it down, and then we're gonna attach our negative. Now we're gonna make the connection with the quick connectors. Just push together very easily. Now the compressor is still off. You're gonna to wanna to turn on the vehicle before you start the compressor. But first, we're gonna hook up the air hoses so it's all ready to go when we do start it up. The air hoses all attach with that quick connection style. So what you're gonna do is push down on this part. You push this in all the way, let it go, and that locks it in place. And we're gonna do that for all the connections. So right there at the compressor. And we're gonna do it here for the inflator gun. Pull down, push up, snaps into place. And the same thing we did for the fitting. Now we're gonna turn on the vehicle. When the vehicle started, now we're gonna flip the switch to start up the compressor. Now, with it filled up, we can attach our fitting here, it threads on. And as I turn it on, it won't let any air out get good and tight you'll see it'll register the psis on the gauge so we're at 40 and if we wanted to add more air this would just pull on the trigger here on the gun to air it up and if you want to let some out you have the button on the side it's going to let air out to get it exactly where you need it overall i did like this compressor i like the fact that once you hook up that quick connector one time you have to use the tools other time you just unplug it and take it where you need when that tank is filled. I really like the fact that it has that tank, it's at two gallons, that makes this mobile. So I can still reach all the tires on the vehicle and even the bike with it hooked up, but the fact that I can disconnect it and take it out to a trailer or something else, I don't have to have my vehicle right there next to it. I'm not corded to anything. I like that part as well. Now there were some things that I wasn't a huge fan of. The handle itself isn't the greatest. It's good to lift it up with that, but it does heat up as this uses up, as the tank fills up. So just watch out for that. But otherwise, I did like this. It's gonna be good for mobility. So whether you're using it on your tires or you put it in the back and have it hooked up all the time, just make sure your vehicle's running so you don't drain that battery. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out and hope this helped.